Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to bulk import Active Directory accounts um, using PowerShell, and then I'm going to show you a different method using this uh, GUI tool, um, a bulk import tool that's part of the Active Directory Pro toolkit. And this is a, a great alternative if you don't want to mess with PowerShell or you want to do more uh, advanced imports. So I've got this script on my website and I'll link to it in the, the video notes. Um, the script's ready to go. I mean, it's got a, a several common user fields already configured and you can add more. And I've also got a CSV template included in the download. Um, and if you want to modify the script to include more um, user fields, uh, you just need to, you'll have to add them to the CSV and then you'll have to update the script as well. So if you want to add it, if you want to add another column, um, you just need to make sure you add it on this side too, and then match it up with the the perimeter. So these on the the left side here are the perimeters that will be passed to the new AD user command. So you need to make sure these are valid perimeters before you add or modify them. And you can go to Microsoft's website and look at the new AD user command and these are all the perimeters that it will support so you have to use a valid perimeter or else the command will fail but again I've already got uh, several common fields included here so let me run through uh, the script um, and if you want to import accounts into an OU you'll need to update this path column with the distinguished name of your OU. To find that, just go to Active Directory, browse to the OU. Um, I'm gonna do mine in this testing OU. So right click on it, properties, attribute editor, and go to this distinguished name. And then you can view it, and then you can copy. Copy this and paste it into the path OU in the CSV file. So the script is going to, the, the one thing you will need to modify is the path. Wherever you save your CSV template, just make sure that this uh, line five here is pointing to that, to that, the path of your CSV file. And then it's gonna loop through the CSV and check if the, the username already exists. If it does, it's gonna give you a little warning if it doesn't, it will continue on, then it will loop through your CSV file for each user, and then it will pass that to the new AD user command, and create the accounts, and then it's going to write out that the account was created. And then that's it. It's pretty simple. So, as you can see, I've got 11, 10 counts here. I've got, you know, some information to fill out, email addresses, street addresses, company information, first name, last name. So let me go ahead and run this. To run it, just click the green run button. And you can see it created all the accounts, put that out to the screen. The screen, And again, if, it, if there was an account that already existed, it would output the username already exists. So if I go into Active Directory, refresh this OU, there you can see it created all of the accounts. And it's Put in some of the information there, address information, some organization information. So that's it for this script. Um, so let me jump over to the the GUI tool. Uh, the GUI tool advantage is it includes a lot of more uh, user fields by default, such as the manager, script path, um, groups. You can easily add accounts during creation to multiple groups and then you can easily add additional um, user fields without having to mod modify anything the, the, the tool by default will just pick up what's ever in the CSV and import that so you gener generate a template with the bulk import icon here and that will give you this template that's got 30 plus attributes already built in user user fields and then you can see in this example i'm going to create 500 over 500 accounts um, with all this information included in it 
here's the groups to add to uh, add accounts to groups just enter the group name to add them to multiple groups just separate them by column but I've got profile path in here script path home directory uh, the manager the manager needs to be the the accounts logon name I've got multiple proxy addresses just a bunch of information that I'm going to uh, use during the import so all you gotta do is select your CSV and then you can set different options here I'm gonna enable them I'm gonna force password change next logon and then I'll click run and you'll see the import status here um, this will take a few minutes so while it's running I'll pause it and then we'll come back and take a look okay my import has completed and I can see that it says 331 users out of 583 was imported so the nice thing about this is it, it logs everything so if I come into the logs you can see you know it's logged um, everything that was imported and it also logs some errors so I can easily do that by just searching for errors and you can see I have a bunch of errors that it accounts already exist so that explains why it didn't import all 583 I've ran through this several times in my um, environment here so a bunch of these accounts already existed but again this is a nice nice little feature and you can export it out to a CSV or a text file and you can search it and if you wanted to search for a specific name you could see you know everyone with the name of Susan shows up in the logs so that that's it for the GUI tool very easy to use again it includes a lot of additional fields that the PowerShell script doesn't include by default and uh, you can download a free trial of this on my website and the, the script is also free from my website um, just go to my site and I'll, I'll link to it in the video but if you go to my site ActiveDirectoryPro.com blog and then under most popular posts it's the first one create bulk users in Active Directory uh, it's one of my most popular articles on my website and I've got everything written out here and then you know the script is here just copy and paste or you can download it the zip file includes the CSV template and the script and then if you have any issues or questions uh, make a comment there's there's a ton of comments um, on my website on this you know with people asking questions how to do certain stuff and, and people are replying with you know solutions on how to modify the script for this or you know requesting additional features um, but that is it for this video thanks for watching